tonight it's the first of four between the San Francisco Giants and the Philadelphia Phillies. What's up, guys? Rich Gamer 997 here tonight. We're back on MLB The Show 21. If you guys enjoyed this video, I'd be really appreciated if you drop a like, leave a comment, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell so you never miss another upload. Let's play The Show 21. Bassett. 7 and 2. ERA just under 3.00. That's some pretty good pitching. Minimizes the amount of walks, keeps his hits down, and if he can do more of the same of that, he should have some. Stepping in next, Richard O'Neill. First shot for him here as he enters play, currently leading the senior circuit in batting. One of the best hitters in baseball, and he does it with some damage, too. Lots of extra base hits. He's in the top five in the league in slugging percentage as well. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. Round, 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 round. In at second safely as they jump ahead with a run scoring on the play. Every manager and every pitcher in the league loves to play with an early lead, and they've got one here. Back-to-back -back doubles put them up by a run with the opportunity to stretch the lead here with another dangerous hitter set to step up. Bryce Harper. So next to the plate for the Phils, Bryce Harper. And the Phils trying to make this first inning even better here. <laughs> Harper did crack the 300 mark. He's just blow it now. Here comes the one two. Softly hit toward the hole. Fielded cleanly. And he'll take this one back for the out. But meanwhile, the runner will move up 90 feet to third base. Next to dig in, Kyle Lewis. Currently ninth in the NL in hitting in early play. What a terrific month this guy had last month, hitting over 350. If he can continue at this pace, he's got a legitimate shot to win a batting title. Skied in the air to straightaway left. LeBron is under it, and he makes the catch for out number three. And he looks like, fuck it, I'm not even going to run hard anymore. Ready now is Jake Shiner, and he's a guy looking to break out in a big way. Hasn't been getting the results he or his club have been hoping for. A swing and a drive to center field. That one's got a chance. And off the batter's eye for a home run. An impressive shot to dead center field. Wow, not every call is going to you where. There are some pitchers that pitchers think are pitchers. You don't know pitchers. when to jump. You, <laughs> you know the arrow light up. Spot, you you're in the play. Second, you got to wait to jump. And he really wanted that the right time to jump is way too late. Plus, he was facing the wrong direction when he jumped. Now to the plate, Alex Wood. The pitcher, Alex Wood. Sent out to straightaway center field. Long run for the center fielder. Now a reaching grab as he makes the play and loses his balance all at once. Another look at the acrobatic play out there in center. We're back with more on this Monday night after this. So next to hit is Richard O'Neill. He doubled his last time up. Yeah, he jumped all over that first pitch last time up. Interested to see. He was late on that coming swing. Just missed it. Line. I don't think he even concerns himself with that. He has to put it on the ground. That's part of what makes him successful. Three. 
That's going to bring up Hunter Bishop. And guys, seventh Three inning already. Ball. Hey, I'm not complaining, but this one's been flying by. Yeah, I'll agree with that, Matt. That's what you get when both starting pitchers have it working. Neither of them have been nibbling around the strike zone at all, and they've trusted their defense to make the plays, and they've done just that. Yeah, and it's resulted in a game that could really go either way. Oh, shit, man. Jackson. Now in the box, Richard O'Neill flew out last time up. Almost, Maddie. Almost went deep his last AB. Certainly just missed it. With this guy's big power, he's feeling pretty good at the dish. Look for him to try and get on something and drive it out of the yard this AB. Strike one to start the at bat. Here it comes. A round ball sent back up the middle and into center field as he's aboard with a one out single. There's a hard hit ground ball. Pitcher not able to get a glove on it. Hard single up the middle. Yeah, watch your lips right there, Dan. Sent it back right where it came from. Stepping in once again is Bryce Harper, who sat down on strikes in his last at bat. Yeah, he's got to put that one behind him, especially with runners in scoring position. Those punch outs will stick with you a little longer. So he ran the fastball by him for the punch out. Bryce Harper going down for out number two in the bottom half. Now the three and two pick. He swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. Bishop 0 for 4 with a strikeout thus far. Four runs here in this half inning. Sent out to straightaway center field. O'Neill is there to put it away and finally put an end. Ball four, six, six. Ready for the bottom of the tenth here, and next will be a speed threat in the form of outfielder Richard O'Neill. Here's a ball hit high down the right field here. line. This ball has a chance, and it is gone. So a two-run homer down the line in right field. 29 home runs for him on the year. Cut the gap here. It's now six to four. And with one swing at a bat, he shows you why he's dripping with tools. He's got the speed. He's got the power. You don't know how to attack this guy. You can't put him on base with a knock or a walk or he'll just end up on second or third. And if you leave something over the heart of the plate, that's what can happen. 386 feet. 99.9. It's only not going to be enough to win. Oh shit. Wow, we came back and won. That's a shot. Thought San Francisco had that in the bag. That was a hell of a turnaround. First for the victorious Philadelphia Phillies. Seven runs on 13 hits. No errors. They left 13 men on base. City of Brotherly Love. MLB The Show has baseball from Citizens Bank Park in Philadelphia. Tonight, the second of four between the San Francisco Giants and the Philadelphia Phillies. 
It's baseball. It's the show, and it comes your way next. Zach Eflin, a right-hander from Florida, gets the ball as the starter here. Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? Well, this guy certainly could be one of those horses for horses kind of guy. Loves pitching at home. Take a look at those home road splits. They're pretty good. Without question, he's more comfortable pitching at home than he is. Three. So one gone in the inning here with a runner at first. And up next, an infielder slash utility man, Ronald Torres. Runners off for second. Lifted in the air to center field. O'Neill is there. Two gone. And now Richard O'Neill comes in today, leading the National League in hitting this year. What a powerhouse season in the top ten in home runs and runs batted in. He's also one of the most feared hitters in all of baseball. Here's the first pitch to him. Scored that one up just a little late. And when you're featuring a mid-90s fastball like this pitcher, attack with that pitch. Get ahead. Get the offense on their toes. That opens up the off-speed pitches later in the game. Oh, wow. Bounce towards the second baseman. Over the first, <coughs> retires the side. That's a power swing, son. Three up, three down for Philadelphia. Still no score. Three. Three. It'll be Richard O'Neill who bounced out last time up. Yeah, Matty, expect this pitcher to try and get the same result as his last at bat right here. The double play is in order. Anything on the ground, the way this defense is, they could certainly. Oh, no, that sucks. I'm really gonna hit it to the fucking center field that time. That's bullshit. First at bat. He said, Here's the 0 1. High in the air out to center field. O'Neill is there to put it away, and the runner will be forced to retreat back to first. Next up, Richard O'Neill, as he'll dig into the left handed batter's box. First offering. Hey, this is the left-handed hitter that can fly down the line. If they want to turn two, they're going to have to be almost perfect. Lifted in the air to straightaway center. Long run for the center fielder. He gets there, and that's the. The dude name with Tiger. Yeah, I hate that about this game. That his players normally hit the ball all the way to the one track, and they don't tag up at all. They just stand there. Sent out to straightaway center field. And the pinch hitter will not be able to advance the cause, and there are two away now. So now here is Richard O'Neill, 0 for 3 to this point. Yeah, not his game so far. He's such a good hitter. We all kind of expect him to pick up two or three hits most of the time. That's not really how baseball works, though. Now a ball line hard toward right center. And he gets it. <laughs> and he ran all he ran over it. The ball hung up so long that he could run over there and get it. That's some bullshit, man. I swear it is. Hitter will bat right handed here. 
Even though he's batting right-handed in this particular bat, this guy swings it. Oh, I got underneath that one. Number's pretty much the same across the board. Underneath the curveball. Hit a right-handed in this at bat. When you try to switch this guy around to the left side, he can do some damage also. And he'll get into third. He's open ass whooping on him. That's for sure. <sighs> Hit streak is about to come to an end. Who is that? Fastball oh, the letters in that's a home run. That's a home run. Deep out to center field. And it's gone. Well, some people would say this homer is wasted because they're down to Philadelphia with a division leading 60th team win this year. Zach Eflin earns win number seven on the season. Lucas Giolito struggled and gets the loss after giving up six earned. MLB The Show has baseball for you. Under the lights at Citizens Bank Park in Philadelphia. Stay tuned for Phillies baseball. Half of the second set to go, and next will be a spilling thread in the form of outfielder Richard O'Neill. Left side, but well fouled. Webb has compiled over 600 innings of work in his major league career and has an ERA he'd like to see come down a bit. Starts the day in the high fours, and the Phillies have their first hit of the ball game. So a base hit here to start the inning, and he continues to pile them up as we take a look at our league leaders in hits so far. And as you can see there, he in fact leads the NL in that category. Pitch out, nothing doing. So let's take a peek at the umpiring crew working this one. Behind the plate is Eric Summersgill. You know what, Dan? I'm always baffled when Eric Summersgill's behind the dish because he has a tendency to favor one side of the plate. Yeah, you know, that's oh, one of the things out, I think pitchers feel a little bit frustrated with the E-train at times. It's like, hey, if you're going to give me that inside quarter, give it to me, but don't keep moving the dish around on me all game. That's one of the hardest double plays to turn around. Stepping up is Hunter Bishop worked a walk in his first plate appearance. Here comes Wheeler's 0-2. There's a swing and a missile sent out to center field. Racing back to center fielder. Gone! It's a grand slam! And that is why you just... Three. Yeah, I'll take Wheeler out of the game. <laughs> Tyler Alexander. His loaded walk in his last at bat. Sent in the air out to straightaway center. Nah, it was his Zach Afflin. Who that's who he was. No trouble for him as he makes the catch to end the. approach a little bit. And a great diving effort there, but it'll just tip off his glove, and it's a base He's up, he's up right here. He's good, he's good. So he's in at third to kick off the inning as you take a look at the league leaders in triples. And as we head toward the All-Star break, you can see he's on top of the NL in that category. At the plate now is G-Man Choi. Both for one for him here in this one. Go. Hit this ball. Down by five. Big game yesterday from these guys. Here. Well, it takes them a little while to get through on the score column, but finally they get through in the middle part of this game. Yeah, Dan, yesterday was a fight to get to the bat rack. Everybody was squaring balls up left and right today.
Next up is Richard O'Neill. Two for two with a triple on his batting line to this point. Well hit the other way, and it's into the gap. Go hard, go hard, go hard, go hard. Digging for second. Arms pumping, he's hustling for on, third. Relay throw, but he is in there with a triple. Wow, he's getting his daily conditioning in during the game. That's his second triple, so obviously he's seeing the ball great, and he's showing he knows how to motor around the base just fine. Digging in will be... G-Man Joy. Leaves are scored two runs. Even at 110 power, you can't even hit a fucking home run out at center field. And tonight's ends at a six like this game finish. is really becoming a shit show right now. The third inning on and never wavered. Logan Webb earns his eighth victory of the season. Zach Wheeler permitted six earned runs to come across. You think I'm the only one that's still playing Road to the Show? I think everybody else is doing Diamond Dynasty. I know Mighty Goat still might be playing. But this game became a piece of shit right now. They updated the game, which fucked up. You did quit at it. Like, there was all kinds of shit wrong with this fucking game. We play the game, my fucking PS4 is saying the game is corrupted, it deleted, and fucking re downloaded and shit. Yeah, his energy. Too fucking quick. 
Holy shit. Saint Antonio Sot. Saint Antonio. And there's a base hit on the line. Tack on another here is the runner. He just stood there with the ball and he didn't even throw it. What the fuck? Wow. Challenge driving the run. So it's a runner at first with two men out, and up next, the infielder slash utility man, Ronald Torres. Oh, and he goes the other way, and he drives it out to deep right center field. And he will get there as he had to cover a lot of ground to make. So here is Richard O'Neill. Drove in a run with a sack fly last time up. First pitch of the A.B. now. Ah, oh, shit. Ah. No chance there. He'll make it the third safely. Now with the play is G-Man Short. Potential tying run for him at third base. Runner goes for second. Swing and a fly ball. And this should at least get home the tying run. Labor makes the catch, and now they might be able to double the ball to first. He throws offline. He's safe. Uh. And this ball game is tied here in the seventh. <laughs> it looked like a good shot. And we came back and won again. Always coming back, coming from behind to win these games. packs oh shit hopefully they have some good cards I can sell make some stubs not that there's anything I really want to buy anymore even if you buy equipment it doesn't even look the same anymore statistics can sometimes illuminate potential areas of improvement Well, guys, that's going to do it for me tonight. If you guys enjoyed this video, it would be really appreciated if you drop a like, leave a comment, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell so you never miss another upload. Remember, stay safe, wash your hands, wear your mask if you choose to. But most important of all, be kind to each other and tell someone you love them. Have a wonderful night. Peace.